Hi everyone, welcome to day 25th of my 30 days SQL challenge series where I solve data analyst and business analyst interview question for SQL. Today we will be solving one of the technical questions that was asked in Flipkart business analyst interview role. So let's see the question first. Write a SQL query to calculate the running total revenue for each combinations of date and product ID. So the expected output columns are date, product ID, product name, revenue, running total and ordered by the product ID and the date in ascending orders so let's go ahead and see the table first so in the table we have the date of the sale then we have the product id product name and the revenue so what we need to solve this is that we want a running total for each product so for example this is the product which you can see iphone 13 pro so for the 13 pro the first sale that is 1000 so we want running total that is going to be 1000 because there was no previous sale and then for the next day whenever any sale happen for the same product which is you can see the same product that is 101 and that is on the next day so that is 950 dollars so next day this uh, total running sales this running total sales is going to be like 1000 plus 950 so total sale for that product is going to be 1950 right so similarly in the third sale which is this one 800 so it is going to sum 800 and then it will show the running total so we are going to basically do this so let's go ahead and you know write it down step by step like the things that we need so first we need from this table that as per the outcome that we need date then we need the product id product id and then we need the product name And then we need the revenue as it is the one that we have and then other than we need something called running total so we do not have anything called running total but we need to create a column by name running total and for that we will be using basically self join so basically we'll be joining the same table with the another same table i mean with the same table again using some you know conditions so uh, then we will do order by by the product id and the date ascending so we'll be doing order by and the product id data sending so let's start writing the query so i think we have the basic things that we need so first we need the date from the table which is orders and then other than then we need the product id which is going to be product id then we will be needing you know product name then we will need the revenue Okay, so now if I just go ahead and run the query, should give us the same table that we have so far, like the same table it's giving. Now we need a new column by the name running total, right? And where we will be summing up the product and their sales. So we will need one more column. So now this time we will do sum of revenue and we will name it as running total, right? Now to get this sum, we need to use a group by, right? Group by all those things that we have. So that's that's what was going to basically give us this sum, right? But we cannot do in the same table because if we do in the same table, the sum is not going to basically give us anything, uh, you know? So we will need to use like one more table. So then we will, what we will do, we will just, this table will name it as like, as order one. And we will join the same table with this table. So we'll say join again with the orders tables that's going to be orders as o2 so this time we will name this table as o2 and the same table we earlier name it as like o1 so now this sum that i'm going to get that is from the second table which is o2 so o2 of revenue that i'm getting so this revenue column i'm getting from the o2 and then all these things that i will be getting from o1 so if i just say o1 so from the o1 i'll be getting the product id date product name and the revenue okay so now if i just do a group by by this okay i'll just show you how it's going to work the running total so for example this date will be getting the same date product id product name and revenue till here but this uh, column which is running 
you know total right so it's this column we will be getting basically sum of based on like this you know column and this running total okay so once we join it so we'll need to set some conditions on what conditions we want to join so first we want to join based on the product id so if the product id is for both the table like the table 1 and table 2 are same then we want to join and the second we want to join based on the date so basically for each date you know we want to see based on the date we want to join this two table so this table date has to be less than this table date okay this is the third conditions so let's go ahead and join the uh, you know this table on so i'll see product table 1 dot product id because i'm joining on the product id because they are the matching you know same column so i'm just saying product 2 table 2 of product id so this is my first condition of joining the table so if i then the second condition is going to be like the same table but i want to join based on the dates so i'll be saying 01 dot date less than equals to so that's going to be one of date less than equals to o2 dot date so these are the two conditions based on these two conditions basically i am joining the same table with the same table by just giving two aliases and then from the second table i am just getting the running total which i'll be getting in here so the joining is done now to get this sum of the revenue i'll need to basically do a group by right without doing a group by i'll not be getting this sum now because we have like all these four columns so i need to do group by by all those columns that we have right so i can just copy it from here and i can go ahead and say group by so i want to do group by by all this column that i have date product id then i want to do group by the product name and the revenue so once i do the group by by all these things i should be getting the outcome so let's go ahead and see the outcome now i have already received the outcome okay i just need to reorganize it so now you can see for this product id which is 11 the you know running total is showing like 2250 but there was only one cell which is 150 right so we just need to do order by here so i'll say order by so order by 1 to d so i want to do order by by first the product id and then i want to do order by by the date so one dot date so if i do this should basically reorganize our query so let's go ahead and see so now what i have done basically i have done the order by by first the product id so the product id in ascending orders then i'm ordering it by the basically dates for the same product id then it is it's going to the you know next product and the date so now if you see let me just explain what i have done so now if you see for this product id which is 101 the product name is iphone 13 pro so the price that it was sold for this uh, first of you know january uh, that's that was one thousand dollar and the running total is one thousand dollar because there was no previous sale before this you know for january now the same product got sold on the second of january so the, which is the same product id the product name is iphone 13 pro and the sales that we have got for this day for the same phone that is 950 dollars so the total is 1950 on the third day or fourth day you can see on the fourth we have the same product sold once and this time it was sold for 800 so by summing up we are getting 2750 so this way basically what we are doing basically we are ordering all the sales of the same product and then on the based on the date we are basically arranging in ascending orders till here we have got received the sale for the same product then it's basically moving to the second product and doing the same thing for the second product which is 13 pro max it was sold for 1200 then the next date was sold for 1250 so by summing up basically we're doing uh, we are getting a running total of 2450 so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching the video till the end i'm going to add a link to this data source and a schema and this table so if you want to practice the same questions you can go ahead download and practice it if you have a different approach to solve this problem do leave a comment so i would like to see them have a good day take care